In this video, we're going to create a card pattern uh, that's for a view mode for a node type in Drupal. So we've got a views listing page here, listing three uh, nodes. So it lists the first one here called Anertech launches new website for happy client. Second one, support team delivers great value to client. And our third one, watch this great pattern lab tutorial. And what we can see in this is that we've got on the first one, a title and a teaser snippet text. On the second one, we've got title, image and teaser snippet text. And on the third one, we've got a title and an image and no teaser snippet text. So this will give us a good example of how we can create conditional fields and conditional logic in, in Pattern Lab. So to start off, let's use our usual npm run new command. And that's going to create some boilerplate uh, templates for us. So what we're going to say here is that we want to create this in the content directory. And we want to create it at the base level of the content directory. So we click enter here and the template boilerplates that we want are the content boilerplates. And we want to have twig, sass, markdown file and a YAML file. We don't need a JavaScript file for this template, for this pattern. And we'll call this card. Okay, so this is gone and created inside our components directory inside patterns and inside 04 content are different card templates, so SAS file, twig file, YAML file, and a markdown file. Next, just let's have a look at our template in um, in our code editor. So we can do a search for our card.twig file. And we can see that this is now in a directory called card, but uh, just as a kind of convention in Anertech, what we normally do is when we're creating view mode templates, we put the word display uh, in the directory name, just so we can have all our view modes side by side. So we'll have you know, display teaser, display card, display search result, etc. So we'll change that here to display card. And we leave the other files inside us at a SAS, uh, Markdown, Twig, and YAML. We leave those as just being called card. So this is just for the for the directory itself. Now we need to go to Pattern Lab and stop what has been running and run uh, npm start again so that the new pattern can get picked up. Okay, now if we refresh this page here, it's not, not ready yet. Okay, we, we should see the new pattern here now. So we can see we've got a display card here and we can click on it. And we've got a title hello card and we've got a, a card content goes here for some teaser snippet. Let's have a look at the template that, that gives us that. So we've got our display card.twig file here. And inside this, we can see the default uh, setup we get from our from our script. So we've got a class here called dot card. So we'll use BEM naming conventions to make sure that all the styling for this pattern will be prefixed with uh, with dot card. We've got a card title and some card content. Now let's change the card title to use a H two. Okay, we can see that's taking effect over here. Um, we've also got then a card YAML file. So the card YAML has uh, the title or the label variable that says hello card. So we can change this to whatever we want here, such as uh, this is our card component in Pattern Lab. Okay, so once we're kind of this far, what we can do is uh, um, let's maybe, you know, this is taking up the full uh, width of the screen. Let's let's just put some uh, a background of red into this just for a second for uh, illustration. So background color red. We can see that this this spans the full width of the screen. We're never going to have a card that's that what that wide. So let's maybe you know make it a little bit more in line with the size of what a card might be. So to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a variable here at the top of. Um, my card.twig file. So I'm going to say if, and I'll call it PL class. That's just a convention we've kind of developed here in Anertech for it for this. I'm going to say if there's a variable called PL class, then what I want is a div that has our layout contained class in it and layout contained, so layout contained small and some padding horizontal. So we've got a small bit of a, a, a space each side of it, no matter how small the screen is and margin uh, top. And then at the very bottom of this file, I'm going to do the same thing that if that PL class is present, we can end that div. 
Okay, now nothing changes over here because the PL class is not present. So then in our car.yaml file, we can say that PL class is true. So when we're looking at this card view mode, we will have that PL class available. And when we do then, we can see that the layout contain class kicks in and puts this uh, in the center. Then the layout contain small class kicks in and makes this smaller. And uh, the padding horizontal class kicks in and means that we've got a small bit of space at the side, just so it's easier to see things. And the margin top class kicks in and gives us a bit of space at the top. So we'll be able to work with our car component in here now instead. Now this class, PL class, that's never going to be available in Drupal. So when we come to mapping our uh, the various parts of our card uh, in our Drupal template, this will always return as false. So we, we actually won't need to worry about that. This is just a handy helper uh, uh, variable for us here in, in Pattern Lab. So the things we're going to need in, <coughs> in this card component is uh, there might be an image. So we can say if there's a card image, then let's have a div dot card underscore underscore image and we'll place our card image in here then we've got a uh, card title and card content okay well we don't need an if statement around the card title because that's going to be the, the no title and that's a required field in drupal so that's, that's always going to be needed and we'll put that inside the card content here and then for the card content variable itself we, we need to say uh, if um, if there is any content because we, we saw in one of our teaser snippets there that one of our uh, card, the, the teaser snippet field was not actually filled in. So that might not always be available and we don't want to have empty uh, divs. So we can say if there's card content, then we'll have a div.card, we call this body and we we'll place the card content variable in here. Um, Okay, and then we might want to also have a read more um, at the end of the card. So we'll say that that's always going to be available to us. You're always going to be able to click through um, to the card to, to read the full note. So div.card read more can come here, and we'll say that this is an anchor tag with a class, sorry, with a href of URL, and that's going to be the same as the URL variable in Drupal. And we'll consider that this can uh, read more and make sure it's translatable. Okay, this should give us enough of an outline for us that for what we need here, it does, okay. So we've, we've got our title, we've got some uh, teaser snippet here, and we've got a read more link here, but we don't have our image. So let's come to our card.yaml file, and we'll put in the different things we're going to need. So we've, we've got a card image variable. So the card image can use our basic element called image. So we'll say include, a pattern called basic elements image and that takes in this image here <coughs> and this is a default image that comes from from our basic elements image pattern here you can, you can see it here it's a four by three uh, image Let's add some basic CSS now. I'm not too worried about the CSS because let's say we, we know how to write that. It doesn't doesn't affect how we integrate with Pattern Lab and Drupal. So uh, we'll just say, uh, remove the background red and we'll give this a box shadow of zero, zero, one pixel, one pixel and RGBA. Uh, let's go with color gray. Oops. Uh, color gray light. Oh, we just can give it a, say, a 0.5 opacity. Maybe that doesn't look so bad now. And we'll say then that dot card content has a padding of go with one REM. Maybe even two REMs. And then we'll say that the card content um, if there's any direct descendant that has an element right beside it, that latter element then will have a margin top of one REM. Okay, doesn't look great with it, but maybe two. Yeah, 
that, that looks fine there now. So we, we'll leave this as this is our card component and this is how it's supposed to look. We have our card pattern created now, so let's create some variations of it. Let's see what a card would look like if it didn't have an image or if it didn't have uh, some teaser text here. So to do that, we see our card.yaml file. We create another card.yaml file and we'll call this card tilde uh, no image dot yaml. And what we can do then with this is we can take everything that's in this file here and we can say card image equals false and delete everything else. What's going to happen now is that this pattern is going to take everything that's in the card.yaml file and use that, except it's going to override the card image variable. So if we come over here now to our content and we look at display card, we've now got two cards available. We've got the card that we're looking at and we've got a card with no image. Click on that, we can see there's our card with no image. We can then also say, how about if we have no uh, uh, teaser snippet? So we'll take this um, template again and we'll say card with no text. We'll be naming this a card tilde no text dot yaml. And here we're going to say that the card content is false. And if we come across here, we can see then that at our display card, we've got a card, card no image and card no text. So the card no text now has the image and the title and no text. And we also have a lovely um, a view all button or link here in Pattern Lab as well. So we can see in one place then what all our different card variations are going to look like, such as our card here, card with no image, and card with no text. And we'll use these variations then when we create a views listing page to show uh, what a view would look like when some of the nodes that are in this view have an image or don't have an image or have some uh, teaser text or don't have some teaser text. And we'll go from here now to mapping these um, items in Drupal template. Okay, so let's have a look here. We've got our card component here. There's three versions of it. If we right click and inspect element, we'll see that the template that's being used here Oops, refresh that. Okay, so we can see that the template that's being used is a node.html.twig. So this is just our default, <coughs> excuse me, this is just our default node twig file. So what we want to do is create a twig file uh, in Drupal for uh, a node dash dash card uh, template. So we'll go on our templates, we come to our view modes directory here, and we'll add a new file called node dash dash card.html. Dot twig. And we're going to tell this file here that it should include a template at the at content section of Pattern Lab and it would be in a 04 display card slash card dot twig. Now that's just a direct link to the um, to the card pattern in Pattern Lab. Where we get this content variable part here, this, this uh, section is in weatherlab.info.yaml. We've set, using the components module, we've set some component libraries here to say that uh, if you use at base, it will go to components patterns base. If you use uh, basic elements, it will go to components patterns basic elements, and so on till you get down to content is in uh, components patterns 04 content. Okay, now if we uh, clear the cache in Drupal, what will happen is that we'll see that the node dash dash card template will be used here instead, but only some of the fields are going to be available in that because we haven't mapped everything that we need. So let's refresh the page and we'll see what we have. And that's it's not defined. Line one. Okay, let's see what the issue is here. It's good to debug things live sometimes. Um, content zero four display card. Ah, zero four content is the directory. Okay, so this should work now. Okay, this looks nice now. So we can see that the card is take up the full width of the page because this is inside views and we've no classes or anything in the views to say what, what, where, where it should uh, align within the page. We'll do that in, in another video. So what we can see is that we've got the title here and we've got the read more. So the reason these two items are available and working in Drupal and Pattern Lab is because the, the variable that we use in Pattern Lab for the title field was label. 
And this is the exact same name as what Drupal uses for the title uh, field in, in Drupal nodes is the label. So we don't need to do any mapping to get the label to work. And then the read more link, we used URL uh, in Drupal here. And that's the exact same um, as what is used in, in Drupal. Sorry, we use this in Pattern Lab and that's the exact same as what is used in Drupal. So what we need to do now is map the fields that use custom variable names. So in our case, card content and uh, card image. So let's maybe look at card image first. So we can say it's set card image equals, and we've got a field in Drupal called content dot field teaser image. Now, if I refresh the page here, <coughs> what will happen is that the what is the field teaser image in Drupal will now uh, use the same layout as what we have here for the card image in Pattern Lab. So we can see here in Drupal, we've set up the, the teaser image field uh, to use the card um, image view mode. And this looks pretty good here. Now, if we look at um, a, 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 an entry here, that like this first one here that doesn't have any image, what we're going to see is that we've got a card image um, div here and it's empty and we don't want to have any empty divs. So let's uh, put an if statement around uh, this card image here. We can say that if node.fieldteaserImage.value, so if there's, unless there's some value inside the field teaser image field, don't uh, set this variable. So, and if there is a value in there, do set this variable. We don't use content that field teaser image here because that's a render array and the render array will always return something even if it's just to say that hey, there's nothing there's no field or whatever inside this so we we can do a better check if we use no dot field teaser image dot value and the same if we're in a paragraph uh, template we could use paragraph dot field image dot value or whatever the name of the field is there so when we refresh the page over here now we should see uh, that we don't have any more um, we don't here so in, have a, an empty image div. So we've only, got, we've only got the div for card content because that's all that's that's in here. Now we've we've got uh, our title here. We don't have our teaser text. So let's get our teaser text as well. So we can say if node.field teaser snippet has a value inside it, then we will set a card content equals content dot field teaser snippet. Okay, so that gives us our title, our teaser snippet, our read more, and our image. Now this doesn't look exactly like we want it to look at the moment. We can see that the teaming is the same as it is in Pattern Lab, except it's way too wide and it's not laid out properly. So in the next video, let's have a look at how we create views templates in Pattern Lab and how we get the layout to work as we expect it to work.